Hello everyone, it's Fern. Um, I just come out of the shower and I wasn't gonna do anything, but then I thought, well, why not? So I'm gonna do something quite random <laughs> today. I'm going to be doing my contour, but I'm gonna be doing it reverse. So I would normally put the dark parts here, 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 you, you know, where all the shading should be, but I'm gonna swap it round so that the light parts are here and the dark parts are here. And I just wanna see what the hell it will do to my face. I'm really, really, really intrigued. Um, <laughs> hopefully it like is somewhat entertaining because um, I definitely know it's gonna turn out looking very creepy or weird, I don't know. Or maybe it will look really normal and it will, it will shock us all. But um, yeah, I just thought that'd be a good idea. I've just put a toner on my face, so I'm just fanning it in making it nice and taut, filling in those pausios. Right, okay, and now I'm going to put a moisturizio. Moisturizer on my face, sorry. My last video, basically talking about lockdown and like the depression we're all feeling, which yeah, might make people not wanna listen to it, but at the same time, I'm also talking about how amazing it's gonna be when we can actually do things again. I know that's what we think about, but like, I feel like we've forgotten that because of, um, like this has been our whole year, hasn't it? This has been like forever. This has been going on. It feels like the new normal, but it is not. Okay. It's not the new normal. I promise. I promise. It, it's gonna be different. And I'm, I'm certainly trying to be more, well, I don't know why, but like, I've got um, this thing called premenstrual dysphoric disorder. So, two weeks of my life, <laughs> two weeks of my month, I'm like, whoa, whoa, I could do anything. Like, right now, I'm doing this video. I didn't think I was going to do this video. Basically, two weeks of my life, I'm more uh, of my month, life, life of my month. I'm more spontaneous, more energetic, more like, <clears throat> like I could do things, let's do something different. I have ideas, I have motivation, inspiration. I, I actually feel like I want to do things and stuff. And then the other two to three weeks, unfortunately, um, I'm like dead. Like literally just don't want to do anything and I hate everyone and I don't want anyone to talk to me or invite me to do things. My agoraphobia is through the roof and I'm just like, get out of my life. And it's even harder in lockdown because it's not like the hardest person to see when I'm going through that is my partner and that is honestly is part of the illness. <laughs> it sounds so weird. But like literally one of the symptoms is like troubles in your relationship with your partner. I try to um isolate during those times when I feel like that, but it's not like I can go and see my friends and go out and do something really fun with my friends to take my mind off it. I have to, I just stay at home. And yeah, I might go and do a walk with a friend or go and speak to them on the phone, but it's just, it's, oh, come on, it's not the same, is it? It's not the bloody same. Like, I'd like to be able to go swimming with my mum or something, you know, like something that we can do that's active, something that I actually like and with the people I want, you know? Anyway, I'm not doing a whole video about that again. Let's just get to this. I haven't shaved my brow skis, so you're just gonna have to, oh, very overexposed. Yeah, I haven't shaved these little bad boys, so I'm just gonna, sorry, just changing the uh, all, all lighting situation. Uh, just gonna draw a rough pair of brows because this video isn't really about the brows. Oh, I'm really happy I'm doing this now. You know, it's like this, that feeling of, I don't know if I've got it in me today. And then you start and it's like, literally like, feel like I've had 10 million coffees. What am I on about? But that, oh yeah. Okay, I guess I am still talking about this lockdown stuff, sorry. But um, that's kind of what I mean. Like we don't have challenges, you know, um, Wait, what was I doing? The eyebrows have hypnotized me into paralysis. <sighs> no, <sighs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, we don't have challenges. Oh yeah, so I didn't want to do this video at first. I was just a bit like, do I, should I just do it tomorrow? Yeah. 
I decided to do it because I thought, well, tomorrow I'm going to feel the same anyway, so it's not really like nothing's going to actually change. I can't just go, maybe tomorrow I'll want to because I won't. Every day is the same. So now I'm doing it, I'm like enjoying it, and I, I don't feel that anxiety or stress of being like, oh, I have to do this thing and I'm going to keep, you know, wanting to do it until I do it, but it's really hard because now there's pressure, you know, like. When you actually do it, you don't feel that way anymore. I hope, what? am I making sense? I feel like I'm going like one million years a minute. <laughs> one million years a minute. I literally am being really weird. Help. Goose Fraba. Goose Fraba. I actually do feel better now. Yeah, so basically challenging yourself. And when we are allowed out, I mean, we were allowed out and stuff like that, even if you have anxiety, you'd be challenging yourself. You'd be going, I don't want to go out. And then, but then once you do it, you're like, this is so good. And then you'll have like a day or two of feeling slightly more anxiety free. Cause you'll be like, wow, I did that. I literally did that thing that I wanted to do. But when we're in a lockdown, yes, you can still do certain things, but you don't have like the wide range of things and it feels pointless doing the little things and yeah, it's just a, it's just a mess. But anyway, so doing this video, I'm now all like hyper and like, woo, do you know what I mean? I'm being all weirdo crazy head. Cause I'm like, wow, I've been doing, like, I didn't think that I'd enjoy it. I thought it would be like, mm, I'll just do it. But it just takes you out that mood. Let's get on with it, shall we? Also, um, because I've been getting into tarot, I pulled a card out just before I got in the shower because I was like <sighs> being lazy, basically. And I was like, what is my day gonna bring? What do I re what do I need right now? And as I like shuffled the deck and felt and I spread them out and I picked the card that I felt drawn to, it was the strength card and I was like, okay and then um because i'm still learning i looked up I, well i look at the picture first um and i just saw like it was like a woman kind of taming the lion or feeding the lion or looking after the lion and that kind of made me think of inner strength and then when i read it it was about inner strength and i was like i'm literally like so spiritual no 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 i didn't think that but i was like oh yay um so uh, and, it, and I read like a little description and it said like do something you know just use your even if you don't feel like it you need to persevere even if you feel stressed or tired this is the time that you need to persevere more so I was like okay I think that's definitely my cue to get in the shower because I was being like do I need a shower shall I just have one tomorrow morning and be a lace ball all day again um but no I got in the shower and now look at me I'm literally like brimming with um, um, chaos <laughs> and mania. No, that I'm like all happy and stuff like that. So I'm really happy about that. Look at these fickies. Okay, two big fat sluggy bugs. I've been watching quite a lot of paranormal stuff recently because I'm like obsessed with ghost stuff. And you know, I said the other day, I think it's because, you know, Believing in ghosts makes me believe that there is life after death, you know, that it's not just a black void. But obviously, like these ghosts on these paranormal stuff all seem so bloody tortured. You know, it's like they're all like mean and and reliving their like tragic deaths and stuff. And I'm like, um, well, I hope I don't have a tragic death because I don't really want to be reliving that. And like, what, like, why? That's horrible. Like, like, why? That, I don't know. I don't know. I get really philosophical sometimes and I'm always just like, why? Where do we go? What's gonna happen? I think, it, you know, being too self-aware of myself can be a blessing and a curse to some degree. Do you know what? I look like, <laughs> I look like, um, I can't remember his name, but you know, like on American Pie, I look like the main guy's dad, Jim, Jim's dad with these eyebrows. I need some glasses, glasses. 
these aren't exactly the glasses he wears, but. Jim. <laughs> me and your mother. <laughs> Just thought that maybe it'd be all right, good to have a chat. All right, I'm sorry. I look like him, sorry. I just turned this whole thing into, into like a Jim's dad makeover. Anyway, I don't know how I go from talking about how, what happens when we die to Jim's dad, so I must be on one. I've only had like one coffee like two hours ago. I don't know why I'm always so silly. I like surprise myself sometimes. If, when I'm watching myself back and editing, I'm like, who am I? Okay, well, they're far from equal, but that's not the point of the video. Is it of the video? Sorry, I could have like done eyebrows and stuff in the first place, but then I wouldn't have been able to get my silliness out. You know, I think I needed to do all this um, on camera to get my silly mode, you know, deactivated. This is a thing that I always say. I always say when I'm getting this way, I always go silly mode, activate. And sometimes I just do it in like the most silly times as well. Like when I'm going to bed and my partner's like giving me a hot water bottle and kissing me goodnight. I'm like, silly mode, activate! Yeah. And I start being weird and I'm like, no, I'm joking. <sighs> but, you know, at least if I can get my silly mode activate out now, then, you know, when I'm doing the actual bit, I can silly mode deactivate and just get straight to being serious. Well, I don't think it's a serious video, is it really? I'm literally putting contour in the wrong areas. That's gonna make me look like some sort of done wrong wax figure. <laughs> wax figure done wrong. You know what I mean? So, anyway, what can I say? Right, okay, I'm gonna put foundation on now, just as the base. Base, 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 buttery biscuit base. Mm. Oh, does anyone else ever get this? Like conditioner in their ear. And then I see it and I'm like, <laughs> I know it's just conditioner, but oh, it annoys me so much. Okay, that's just a thin little layer of foundation. You don't really need too much. So, I'm gonna start. I think it'll be best to start with the light shades first, um, like the contour and like the nose and stuff, because I, uh, I don't know if this would, but I don't wanna look like I'm doing blackface, because when you do the highlighted parts, that's quite a lot of the face and it's like, It'll be black, it'll be black here, black here, black here, black here. That's a lot of black and I really, really do not want to get this confused um, or taken out of context and made into blackface because I would hate to be that disrespectful and that is not my intention here. Just want to let everyone know that, um, which is pretty obvious, but <laughs> like that I'm... <clears throat> not intending to do that but i just you know come on i've got to be extremely respectful and avoid that at all costs so i'm going to start with the light colors first i hope that was okay for me to say okay so here goes i'm going to do it on the under the cheekbones first that's where a darker color would usually go okay this is already weird I'm also doing it with this foundation because uh, I usually use the fact this, this is like a really high coverage foundation. I usually use this for the highlighted parts. So it's going to be kind of weird doing it for these parts. It just, it, it doesn't feel natural, honestly. I think I'm going to just like lay it all out first. I feel so weird. This feels so wrong. Yeah, that feels weird. Look how weird that looks already. I might just blend this in now. Oh my god, this this is wrong. I'll add more if I need to as well. Because that's just looking not that different, is it? It's not looking too different. I don't have a powder, uh, light con a light powdered contour, so that's a bit annoying. It's like a half and half. I find that so confusing though. It's like, how do you get it to not touch each other? You know what I mean? I'll try it. <laughs> what? the hell? 
looks so weird. Okay, now let's blend it in, I suppose. Blend as I go. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna bring it all the way up to under the lid, under the bottom of my eye, you know. Okay. It weirdly doesn't look that bad so far. It just looks like I've put on a high bronzer. I mean, it makes me look a little bit like, I don't know, like haggard, yeah. Just look a bit weird actually. Let's get that lighter colour on here again. Mm, that's not a light enough colour. I need that whiter one again. But now I'm going to put the darker colour here. Because that's where I put a lighter colour to define the actual cheekbone if it was in reverse, you know what I mean. Okay, this is where it starts to look a bit silly. Okay. Oh my god, do you like my I look like some sort of sci-fi character. Sing song, I am a alien from Beatatron. Let's blend it. Blend it like Beckham. Oh my god, this is looking quite dire actually, isn't it? Let's just really accentuate it more. My belly is being weird, it's like... <laughs> like, doing like... Nigel Formbury sounds. Eliza, <laughs> pop it. It is. It's literally doing that. Stop. <clears throat> okay, this is this is looking really <laughs> crazy. Okay, I'm gonna do under the jaw. That's where I'd normally make the jaw more defined, seeing as I am literally Mr. Blobby. Ugh. <laughs> Makes me look like I've got a second flap. No! Don't want a second flap. Oh my god, this looks so bad. Alrighty. Now I'm going to do the old forehead. Normally I'd just put a tiny bit up here because I've got a short forehead. I never use a lot of this anyway. Uh, of like when it's dark, when I'm using the normal contour, I normally put it dark up here. But because I've got a short forehead, I don't really do much. <laughs> this is so strange. Oh my God. This feels so wrong on so many levels. Oh, can you actually imagine? This is what was like actually attractive. Like this is a trend. Oh my God, it's so sexy when you make your face like structure not stand out, but you actually make it stand in. Okay, so this is what I look like so far. Like, 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 what is this? Like, really? Let's just make those more like how I would actually do it. Chiseled, if you know what I mean. Oh my God. I suppose this bit would be dark as well, wouldn't it? This is crazy. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the bridge of my nose dark. Okay, and then let's make the sides light. Ah. Oh no, I went a bit crazy there. It's all right, I can fix it. Okay, that's the best I'm gonna do for now. Let's just get that darker again. This is really bad. <laughs> this just looks so bad. It's like I've got sunburn. This is so bad. And then put some in here. And then I might, you know, leave these beads bits out. Right, I'll do this and then I'll do the darker colour over the top because that's just impossible. Right, let's get that dark on again. <clears throat> well, this might be the finished look guys. What do you think? Nice? That looks so weird doesn't it? Let's 
see if I can blend it all together a bit more. So this is what it looks like blended. What do you think? Nice? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's just something else, isn't it really? It looks so bad and disgusting. Like, I'm so glad that we don't do makeup like this. I feel like I look just so old and haggard. Like, I'm like... Look how manly I look too, like... Oh. Right, well, anyway, <laughs> that is the end of this video. And I'm going to take all this off and never do this again. Um, <clears throat> thank you for bearing with me during the silly mode activate at the start and I hope you enjoyed this video <laughs> and um, I hope in a way it just shows the importance of contour and like where it should be placed you know like doing it this way is just unbelievably crazy I might do a video where I just do a video on skin and showing different ways you can do contour in a good way do you know what I mean um, that might be fun and it's challenging for me too because I'm still I still have to work it out sometimes I'm not sure you know like some days I like it one way and the next day I like it the next you know so another way if that makes sense so yeah thank you please like and subscribe I hope this one was a bit more of a funny one a silly one and that you could enjoy it um yeah bye